Welcome to Indie Resources 32nd video, I believe it is, on um, how to make a browser based in Morgan's Halls Valhalla. Um, actually, this might be the 33rd. Um, we're still in the guild thing, and I actually planned on just kind of going through this and, and, and building it as, a, as I go into um, kind of actual type everything in as we watch these videos, but this video I goofed up and I, I I did the video and then I realized I ran into a mistake and I couldn't figure out what, what's wrong with this what's wrong with this and I spent the last 20 minutes on a stupid mistake and and I already typed all this I didn't want to delete it and reshow it it's not much so I'm just going to go ahead and show what I did here and then we can go right back to what we were doing but if we where we left off we left off to where we um where we sent the the message to the guild invite but there was no way to join now. I wanted the join to be a post so nobody could cheat and join guilds or whatever. So all I really did was, is we'd already had this where it was going to invite for the guild. Um, I may have added. Basically, what I did was I took the message and I concatenated a form here that they can join. And what my mess up from last time was is that I was trying to do it without the escape string, so it kept giving me the error of cannot. Um, cannot add messages because you have to actually escape these strings out of here otherwise it's just going to throw errors you won't be able to upload it and for some stupid reason I couldn't figure that out until it finally dawned on me oh yeah but um anyway that's all I did was is that I created a form and it just has the value of join guild and the guild ID and then just join guild so once you get that then I created a join guild if it's set post join guild, um, so when they click on it, it's going to go to here, and it just takes the guild ID and it inserts the inserts that person into the guild members, and of course gives them access one. And I don't know why there's a T there, but let's get rid of it. So it just takes the name, your name, puts the guild ID that we pass, and your access to make you part of the guild, and then says guild joined. So it's really nothing big, um, simple stuff. We just that's all I really added to it. I may have um, that's really all I changed, I believe. So let's test it out. I really haven't tested it out too much, so I'm gonna go back to my guild. I'm gonna send it to test. Um, just put join it, and we're going to invite the player. Guild invite set sent. So let's log out. Let's go to test and test. Log in. And we got a new message. And there it is. Guild invite. Read it. And there you go. Here's what it sent the message and then it concatenated that form. So when I click here it should go back to index and join it. We join guild and it says guild joined. And the only thing I that we, we are missing one thing. We're missing we forgot to add the player. Um, so to change the player thing. So let's read this and let's delete this. Let's go back. Let's log out. Let's go back to halls. And let's go to our database. Let's take our guild members. Let's look at them and make sure everything went in. See that part worked, but let's go ahead and get them out of there because this is one thing we forgot to do, or I forgot to do, was now we have to update the player. So let's um let's update the player. Let's steal this real quick. And because you remember his guild ID has to change. So update player so set guild ID equals and I'm actually putting this in the wrong place. Let's get that out of there. We gotta put it down here where they joined. And of course you don't want to take the gold away, so let's do that and bam. That way it gives them the guild ID and everything should be good. So let's try it one more time. Let's uh, oop, not start guild. Let's go to our guild. Test. Join it. Invite the player. Guild invite set. Log out. Back to login page. Test. Test. Login. Got a new message. There's our invite. And let's join it. And the only thing I'm not liking is that you actually have to refresh before it gives you that guild. We may change that, but at least see you here, you can't 
join it you can go now to your guild and welcome to the guild welcome recruit test there's one other thing I want to show you <coughs> that I changed was if in the guild levels I made it to where each guild can have their own uh, five levels they can name them whatever they want and that's what it'll put there so that's the point of having the database using the database through the constants was if the next guild comes along it's going to be six they can have their if this is going to be um, this is going to be static right here as far as this is going to be the first thing it puts in or it's technically dynamic but it's the first time they do it it's going to just enter those in um, automatically I haven't did that yet so we actually need to do that real quick so let's go to start guild and let's copy this and let's enter it into guild levels and we're going to do the guild ID and then one two three four five and then we're going to do So we'll do recruit um, captain, and you might want to capitalize these. So this way, they they get something to start out with, and then they can come and change them later. Recruit captain moderator ad, admin and owner. We need to. Fix this. So there we go. And could not add ranks. That's what we really need to call them as ranks. So inserting guild levels, guild ID. Let's just make this look a little prettier. One, two, three, four, five. Guild ID, one, two, three, four, five. Looks good. So we're good there. So now it'll automatically put that in when we create a new guild. Um so that fixes pretty much everything where we're at so far we got to invite to the player we can invite them um, the next thing I want to do is to where we can change our ranks and we can actually look at our list of players so if we go to our index and we go to our guilds uh, let's see where we're at here's our guild page Invite, guild invite. Okay, so here's where we got everything we want. Now we want to be able to do let's um let's create this. Let's do I want to keep it kind of pretty, so we'll um see let's do manage members, manage members and we're just going to pretty much take all of this out and we're going to put uh, manage equals one and then we're going to delete this out of there and we're going to do see members so the next thing I want to do is if is set post manage Now we need to do a while statement. So let's let's steal a while statement. I kind of like this whole uh, using this right here. I don't know how much I want this stuff. I want to use. Yeah, let's go ahead and use it all. It's kind of a lot of junk, but oh well. <coughs> okay, set post man. And just to kind of clean this up, um, C Guild members. Wow. 
if it's set, there's our while, so we need to put another one right there. I'm hoping I got that right. We'll figure it out here in a minute. Select all from guild members where guild ID equals guild ID. Then we want to just do name and for now we'll call it rank and then we're just going to put in name and access drop that out of there should work but there's only one way to find out refresh it well, we got one messed up 150 which is going to be means I need to get rid of that one okay manage members and this is a little off we got to clean this up but let's see the members oh I put it to well oh I know what it was we have to send also guild is that post guild yeah got forgot to make it also look for this so let's throw that in there let's um go to our guild see members could not select backpack which we should change that error let's see why <coughs> Select all from guild members where GID equals guild ID. Let's look at our actual database. Like I said I'm pretty forgetful. Guild ID, name and access, guild members, guild ID. For some reason he's in here twice, I guess because I accidentally accepted him. We may have to double check that, but let's go back. Look what we're looking at. Oh, it's guild ID instead of GID. Okay. There we go. There's our ranks. And looks like I left in location from that old one. Um, yeah, right there. Continue. There we go. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but um, I tell you what, too. Let's do this. This is what I meant to do. Uh, let's control X. Let's take that out of there. Let's echo table. Oh. Back to the guild. See members. Still throwing it out. Whoops. It's from my other game. Um, why is my table? What's going on with my table? Hmm. Not sure why it's putting it in there. Why it's not putting it in there. But that's something we can fix later. Um anyway, we're gonna we're gonna clean this up a lot. I really don't like the way this is looking. It's really ugly. We're gonna kinda move these over and, and manage these tables a little better and make them a little prettier, but we're gonna do that on the next video.